Hey, this is Wayne from Down South Diecast. Today we're going to work on a 1955 Chevy Gasser. A very, very popular cast in, in the diecast world. Um, it's from the Heat Fleet series. Um, really cool color, really cool decals. But we're going to change it up and try to make it look a little bit better. I've got some really cool decals. I've got some really cool wheels. We're going to do a wheel swap. Um, we're going to just turn it into something really cool, hopefully. Gonna go put it in a stripper, get it all stripped down, and um uh here we go. Alright, y'all. This is like I said, a very, very popular casting. The 55 gasser is just I mean, it's just it's just it is what it is. Along with its like square bodies or whatever. Square body being a very popular casting too. Of course, this one is brand new, so there's nothing wrong with it. No, there's no scratches. There's no imperfections in the paint. You know, it's brand new. But wheel came off pretty easy. Interior, it's it's brand new, so nothing wrong with it. Won't be doing nothing to it. Windshield, of course, brand new. We might try to polish it up a little bit, but. Other than that, we're not going to do much to the interior, nothing. Let's go to the next step, y'all. Alright, y'all. I'm just going to take a, my Dremel and, and knock off some of the excess zinc. You'd be surprised at how much it builds up. And this, by using the Dremel, it will knock some of it off. And it also makes it a whole lot easier to sand. Um, people might not believe it, but it does. So, a lot of people just wire wheel it and put the spectra slang paint on it but i like to sand it and this is a very important step so let's see what it looks like sanded all right y'all this is the 55 gas is completely sanded um i use eight steps eight eight different grits of sandpaper the last one being 2000 grit this is what it should look like before buffing um this is what i like for it to look like and you need that mirror shine you have to have that mirror shine for the spectra flame paint so that's why i like it the best i can get it, the smoothest i can get it is the better it is buffing the, the better it looks and the more mirror shine you got let's go to paint work y'all all right y'all we're gonna paint this thing and i messed up at the beginning because i had figured out what i wanted to do i decided to do a two-tone paint job on this thing and I started painting the front orange when I realized I didn't want the front orange. The front was supposed to be blue. So here I am, just still going at it. Then I stop and I realize right there, hmm, what am I doing? The back needs to be orange. So I go to the back and start painting. I get all, all under, you know, inside the fender wells, um, just in there real good because, you know, it's, it makes it look a lot better. I mean, somebody was to buy it and you took it apart, it'd all be all silver in there. So I try to paint all of it. Um, here I'm just putting a little bit on. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do, really. Where am I going to put the fade? Where am I going to stop the fade? How am I going to do the fade? How far toward the front fender, the front door? What am I going to do? So. I spent a little time looking at it and just figuring what would look best and just kept putting a little orange on it a little bit at a time. A lot of people will put this paint on a heavy coat to begin with and then say wait 15 minutes and then you put another coat on. I don't do that. I put them on light coats. I mean just real light coats. And with this paint if you use the hardener in it, it will. It's like a clear coat. I mean, it's like well, actually, a single stage paint. If you put the hardener in it, um, you, you can use this paint without the hardener straight right out of the bottle. But and if you're cl going to clear coat it afterwards, you don't need to use the hardener. Um, this is paint from the Redline shop. It's awesome paint. I mean, it just works perfect. 
And the red line shop's got a lot of stuff that um, if you get into this little hobby right here, you're going to need. And he has great prices too. That's where I get all my paint from. Nowhere else. But this stuff mixes 5 to 1 ratio. 5 parts paint, 1 part activator hardener or just paint. You don't have to use the hardener if you're going to clear coat it afterwards. And most people will because they want to add decals or do something so you would need the you wouldn't need the hardener. But I actually use it anyway because it makes the paint more durable. So here I am just looking at it trying to see if I got it even um, if the fade looks in sync with the other side. Put a little bit more orange on it, get into the tent. I won't. Just look at it and see if it matches the other side. <clears throat> and it did, and now I'm trying to get the blue. And I got the blue. So now we're going to put the glue, the glue, the blue on. Same identical way. Real light coats. I do not saturate, especially when you're doing a two-tone paint job. Don't saturate your paint. Put it on light. And then look at your fade. Because in a, once you get the right tone for the um, the chrome part, you're going to shoot that fade into the orange part. And that's what, why it's called a fade. You don't want to stop it right at the breaking point of the orange and the chrome. Because it just wouldn't look right. You got to blend it into the orange or whatever color you're, you're using. So... And it, and it just, it turns out really good. I painted cars for 16 years, so um, I've, I've learned a lot of tips and tricks over the years painting cars. And once you do that, you can apply them to this hobby also, which makes it more easier and, I don't know, a little bit more know-how. Not saying I'm really I'm good or anything. Just saying that I know some tricks to it. I'm just still trying to get the blend in, working that top, trying to put it into the orange as much as I can to cover that break. Looking pretty good so far. Just, you know, that's what I'm doing. You see, I'm, I was further away from the car spraying. That's putting a little bit of blue into the orange. Well, let's go to the next step, y'all. The decals. This was a booger right here. I don't know what happened with these decals, but... I put I put it into the water. Well, I, well, I I started putting the water on the car, and I set the decals in the water, and turned around and the decals were floating in the water. I mean, I didn't even leave them in there no time, and they came off the paper and was floating. I thought the decal was destroyed. And I started to just crinkle it up and just throw it in a garbage can. I said, no, let's try to work with it and see what we can do. I did not think I would fix this decal. I mean, it was just really, really rolled up. It was folded under itself. I mean, it was just <laughs> a mess. But I didn't give up. Something you never do. Never give up. 
I kept fooling with it, working with it. And finally, I got it to lay down on the car. And once it did that, I had it. I had it beaten. I don't know why it, it came off the water. I mean, if they, if they leave, stay in there too long, they will. But the time that it was in the water was not enough time for that decal to slide off of the paper and almost be destroyed. But I worked with it and was able to save the decal. It was definitely a job. But we did it. If you do decals, I know how you know how tedious they are, so you gotta have patience with them, and you will you will get them. But we are fixing to go to the next step, so here we go, y'all. Here we are. We got the car painted, clear coated, decals, wheel swap, and let's see the reveal, y'all. And here it is my custom 55 Gulf Gasser, Spectre Flame Orange, and Spectre Flame Blue with Goodyear Eagle Real Riders. I want to thank everybody for watching my video. And if you like what you see, please comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And let everybody know that I have some pretty cool videos, whatever. But um, I hope you liked it. It was fun. I have a lot more videos coming up. Go check out my 62 Chevy truck, y'all. And thanks.